This is Spring Shoot Tips and Cheats. I'm Pat Bradley. This is Charlie. Today we're talking about turning comic book art into an animated music video. I'm going to use this example from the song Let's Pretend We're Dead by, once again, June Cleaver and the Steak Knives. Originally this is going to be the most minimal lyric video, just pulling illustrations from uh, a book I was working on. I felt like some of the verses had some strong imagery and they were, they were meant to hold up on their own just with some camera drifts. My big mistake in this project was not planning out the chorus. I literally had this drawing in the storyboard for the whole chorus with just the idea that I'll figure this out later. And I'm pretty convinced that this project wouldn't have taken nearly as long if I hadn't skipped that step. So here's a few examples of the original concept where it was just still images and the camera's moving and sort of revealing the lyrics almost like you're panning across a comic book panel. Make the lyrics part of your design. And I like the idea of the lyrics themselves being able to be behind characters and appear in front, just being creative with that. And in this scene, our heroes are floating up to what they hope is heaven. This is a good example of the lyrics being in the background, being visible, but not getting in the way, being part of the design. So once I started working with the chorus and having these skeletons, they became slightly more complicated than my original concept. For the chorus, I ended up making puppet animation from the skeletons playing instruments. And to keep them from being too stiff, I ended up doing some line boil, which is when you redraw the drawings a few times so they have that sort of shimmering, flickering effect. So each skeleton's a little different. Here's the singer, made up of these parts, doing the absolute crudest of lip sync for the vocals. Life will be so much easier when I have a skeleton playing a violin, even though technically there is no violin in the song, it's just a pedal effect on the guitar. So there's a very crude and simple tambourine player. Let's pretend, let's pretend. I thought it'd be fun to have the drummer standing and really pounding that kick drum. And this is just a different version of the same scene where I have him hitting some cymbal accents. Speaking of reusing scenes, creatively reusing animation. So in music videos, you have all kinds of opportunities to reuse animation. But what I try to do is to change that up. So the viewer doesn't just glaze over and lose interest. You can reuse the same animation, but have the camera moving slightly differently. And I think it's helpful not to use them in the same spot each time. Mix it up so you don't have the same animation lining up with the same parts of the song. You can double up the characters when reusing them. You can slow them down the second time or add effects to them. Besides having different hats and guitars, these two are exactly the same. First time we see this scene, they're floating on clouds. Then again later, they turn into skeletons. Since I actually animated the Grave Diggers, they had to be in there more than once. You can even reuse animation from your other projects. Here's one of the background dancing skeletons by itself, but with a bunch of effects on it. The scene has multiple cheers with the camera pulling back, and this one just one with a bunch of flickering effects. Accents to accent your animation. And this is one that I'm a little slow to realize sometimes. Here I'm using the negative effect, which I've explained in another video. I'll leave a link to that here. Another so those quick flashes that go with the tom hits is what I'm talking about. Games to play. Dressed in black while they looking so sad. Digging, digging, digging our graves. Here just the background clouds have that effect. And I use them a lot in this to accent the drum fills. Let's pretend, let me be, look away. Make a splash with the title of your song and your band name. Rather than doing the old MTV style of having your band and song title in small print at the beginning, I'm a fan of making a bigger impression at the beginning and at the end. Another 
island is drugs. I've got a whole video on this, but let me just point out a few here. All right, so that's a portrait of me right there. Our hero is playing hangman here, along with tic-tac-toe, and the missing word would be steak knives. And it's become a signature of mine to have food and drink at an operating table, which goes back to the switch with Bill Stanley. And of course, these are older versions of my kids. And just like the beginning, I like to end with something a little different. For my zombie video, I ended with just the guy on the organ here. I always think it's a good idea to put your band name at the end as well so people remember and maybe more information about it. Also leave some room at the end for YouTube if you want to connect to other videos. Just leave space for that and if you can, make that space a little interesting. This ending was a little different just because I, I had this fear. After having our TikTok account removed without any explanation, I started to wonder if it was because I had, was posting clips of this video early on. And I started thinking maybe people are considering this something that's promoting suicide. So I wanted to add this little message at the end just to make sure there was no confusion there. And I kind of like how the whole tone of the song changes at the end with, with the message and with the imagery. I think we'll end it there. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for everyone who's left comments on all my videos. I really appreciate it. That's what keeps me motivated to make more videos and I will try to do so as time allows. And a shout out of course to June Cleaver and the Steak Knives for all their generous support. Uh, check out their music here. Here. You might like it. Any questions you have, let me know. I will answer them in the comments. Also, there's a link to the final video in the comments. See you next time. Ten